Steve Ixaros, uh, Deputy Chief, has been a beachgoer for a long time. And we've, uh, we noticed, you know, we knew all about his son, Nick. Um, but he's always out on the beach, and this is his place where he comes to relax with his family. And there was another veteran that had come in last year and asked me about, could we do something special for the vets? And what they wanted to do was have a little place out on the beach, little area. And I said, absolutely. So every Saturday night, they put out a couple flags. And they started to do that, and they started to show up. Steve and I had talked several, for several years about, I wanted to do something to honor the veterans. It, this is my favorite place in the world is right here, Sandy Neck. And what a healing place it is. So, well, I can, yeah. I can mm -hmm. say that it, it was kind of born from a veteran where I think most um, great ideas are, yes. <laughs> frankly. Um, a veteran came to us a, a few years ago and said, I really want a place to be with other vets, to have community, to relax and enjoy and just enjoy our life. And let's go to the beach and let's go to Sandy Neck. And it wasn't formalized at that point. Um, and then I'll hand it over yeah, to you. Yeah, and that veteran <laughs> is a friend. And I would see him on the beach, you know, coincidentally. And he asked me, do you think we could do something for veterans on Sandy Neck? And I said, yes, if you can help me. So it started with him working with Donna and having uh, sections of the beach reserved for veterans to park because it's so busy sometimes in the summer, way out on the beach, it's nice to have a place to park. So we put up signs, veterans parking, and we started kind of with that. And, and then the thought was, let's, let's give them the permit to go out there and, and the, the equipment. And initially, in our mind, it was to thank a vet. Uh, we can't um, bring Nick back or all the others that have fallen, but we can, we can remember them and use them to, in a way to help thank others and support others. But it was Dara Gannon, you know, of the Cape Cod Foundation, Sean Gannon's wife, you know, who said, Steve, this is beautiful, but let's take it a step further and let's tie it into a, a program. And, uh, and I guess because, you know, obviously we knew Dara and the Gannons and the Cape Cod Foundation, we knew Donna at the beach and we knew Dr. Howard, we were able to put them all together. It's not easy to do, to get the federal government, the <laughs> local government, the Sandy Neck Board, the Cape Cod Foundation, and the Exaros Family Fund all together, and we did it. And uh, that was the, the right thing to do. And um, I, I, our goal is, it to, is for it to become one of our signature things that our family does. We, kind of do a lot of little things to try to help as many people as we can. But we feel like this, this, is, this is gonna be one of the most important. And this year we have enough funding for 20. Next year we wanna make it 50. And, and give our veterans a place to heal. So of course I wrote this letter stating, you know, why they should be out here, the, the sand and the, you know, the companionship and the family and you know, that we have hiking, we have kayaking, we have camping, the different aspects of Sandy Neck that are so healing. Uh, so that letter, unbeknownst to me, went further than I thought it was going to. And then it was a couple days later, Steve sent me an email, said, touchdown, you did it. So, and I said to him, no, we did it. So uh, it's just a, this is a, a really, like I said, a passion. This is a passion for me to get these guys together and these women and Gold Star's families. And I was really, really, that was the thing that I added. And I said, I really want the Gold Star family because who is more of a veteran than, a, than families have lost a loved one into any of the combat? Being in nature, part of it is when we do motorcycling, you know, being outside, being in the wind, that's, we found that therapeutic. Also being with others. Um, then the beach kind of has that a little bit too, where you, you have nature, the wind, the ocean. We bring our dog, you know, and it's always leashed, of course. <laughs> and uh, so you're out in this beautiful place and you realize how lucky you are to be alive. And you realize uh, the price of freedom, you know, and try to balance that. Because I'll, my life is kind of bittersweet. There's days when I'm very proud there's days when I'm very uh, 
sad, you know. So we balance it. I call it bittersweet. And and um, a few years ago, I felt better about what had happened. Someone gave me good advice because they. I kept saying, "Why? Why? You know, why, Nick? Out of thousands." And a man said, "You don't know why?" I said, "No, I don't know why." He said. God saw Nick doing good things and needed to take him to do great things. And at that moment, I, I accepted it. And it was right around this time where I had accepted it as a, as a, a dad and as a family. We've healed better. And at the same time, we're on Sandy Neck. And we said, let's put this together and let others experience the beauty of of Barnstable and Sandy Neck and the ocean and animals and, and the sand and whether you want to be together as veterans, or Gold Star family, or you just want to be alone and take a walk on that beautiful place. It's incredible when you're out there and that's kind of how we thought it would work. I think nature in part is freedom. Um, it's freedom to let down your guard. Um, it's freedom to just be one with, with your environment. Um, and we'll do therapies where maybe veterans have to write about their traumas or have to speak about their traumas or just do some healing work by feeling their emotions um, rather than avoiding them. And that's a very difficult thing to do with others um, because it's a very personal process. So going out to a place that's surrounded by beauty where you can be alone um, when you want to be alone and um, just share and pour that emotion and those experiences into the world um, and get it off of yourself I think can be very healing for people. These are called challenge coins so veterans and military people or law enforcement kind of have your own special coin and it means a lot. So I'm on the board of directors of Mass Fallen Heroes in Boston, which is a bunch of veterans, police officers, firefighters, and we built this foundation. So I mentioned this idea to them, and they said, oh my god, we love it. So they gave us the 20 special coins, which we now give to Dr. Howard. And when, when uh, the people here feel like this veteran is the right type that would love something like Sandy Neck. This is kind of the past. So they give them the coin, they bring the coin to the booth at Sandy Neck. They all know kind of what it means. And that way you don't have to share names in a way or it's just mm -hmm. this, this person has this coin and they know what to do. And, and um, almost uh, another way to remember, you know, the price of our freedom. These are all, Massachusetts fallen heroes and uh, I know they would want to help those that made it home. My chief Frank Fredrickson tells the story of now years later uh, Nick is a marine and the chief took Nick hunting on Sandy Neck and he even though I didn't see it but I can see it in my mind the chief said his last vision of Nick is uh, him hunting and standing on the dune holding the firearm like a marine. And uh, so in, in a way we, from childhood to marine, Sandy Neck has been part of his life and many others. And we want to pass that on and help our veterans feel our love because Americans love our veterans and feel uh, like they have a place to heal. And, and that's how it came together. And that, that's the big thing for this, you know, what a perfect place to be, to go out and just, you know, shake their hand and thank them and say thank you for your service. We're proud to be with the VA, you know. We're very proud to be with the VA and the town of Barnesville and Sandy Neck. And, and um, it helps us heal, too.